working in a Walmart. As you can see, Walmarts are kind of one of the top distractions we can use. There's lots of young children, lots of people, tons of carts. We're working in the produce area. Lots of new smells. Go ahead and put them in a sit stay. So we got a lot of people moving around. Hoping we'll get another cluster of people coming through that entrance. Recall and then heel back around. Nice little recall out of that stay. Go all the way around that to the greeter and come back. You know, the automatic doors. Tons of people walking through. Big crowds, which is awesome. Go ahead and halt. Tell them to down. Stay. Drop your leash. Walk over. Return. Ask for the sit. All right, he's getting boxed in right there in the aisle. I'm laughing because I love it. I think it's awesome. Go ahead and heel back around, Courtney. You really don't get any bigger of a distraction than Walmart. You guys saw, you know, we worked in Lowe's in the beginning. Then we kind of went up to the booksellers. And the booksellers, you know, there's a lot of people, elevators, different components. But not as many smells, not as many people. Uh, especially when you come into a Walmart, a lot of times it's a a beacon for people to want to pet your dog uh, and this is fantastic. Denver stays right with her. You can see the level of focus Courtney has gotten over the last four weeks. I'm very thrilled. You can go ahead and halt. Nice. we will get you a nice little close-up. Can't wait to see you guys for your exit lesson. We're going to go over how to do all of this in person. Hi buddy, Denver! Awesome. Can't even get a cute close-up of his face because he's so dialed in the core area. Hey buddy. There we go. Alright, we've got seven-year-old Odin working in Denver today. He's in his fourth week of on-leash obedience. Here. Walking through crowds. Handling all the distractions. Very good. As you can see, we're quite a distance away. Nice. Good job, Odin. Walk right on past me. Very good. Courtney has done an excellent job with Denver. That's what allows this transition. Oop, there they go. <laughs> Between a seven year old handler and a much more experienced one, tell him to sit. You got it. It's all right. Denver. Tell him to down. Good, tell him to stay. Return. Make sure he stays in the down position. Now, Odin has a lot of experience handling dogs, but this is the first time that he and Denver have worked together. Ask him to sit. Move your hand. Nice. Take off healing. Where are you go? <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, so even though he's a seven-year-old excellent handler, he does have a mind of his own. <laughs> he likes to throw dogs into a lot of distractions. Good. I don't know where he's going. Oh, Good job. Walk straight down that aisle and then come straight back. Stay on. Yep. Perfect. 
And you know what? This is awesome though. Denver doesn't know where my son is going to go. My son doesn't even know where he's going to go. And Denver is staying completely engaged and focused. Uh, again, this is just a six month old. You know, he's a comfort retriever. He's done fantastic, just four weeks of obedience. And we can already hand him off to a small child. Go ahead and stop, tell him to sit. And down. So, uh-uh. Tell him, uh-uh-uh. Good. Nice job, Odin. Good boy, Denver. That was very tough because his handler was right there, but he ended up listening and he's done excellent. Denver. Good boy. As you can see, Denver has done a great job over the course of our time together. I'm incredibly proud of how far he has come and he's going to make a great addition to your family.